So we've got our movie that's been rendered out of our character right here, and let's take a look at it. And how are we supposed to do that? It terminates okay, but it doesn't really begin okay, because watch the mouth where we've got that prolonged and. And how are we supposed to do that? It jumps right in to the next word, and we don't want it to do that. So let me go ahead and close this and get this out of here. How do we change and adjust that inside of Poser? Well, you might be tempted to quickly go into the actual layer right here and then go to keyframes. And we'll see that we actually have a ton of keyframes here in dealing with this. And you know what? I don't want to mess with this stuff because there's too many of the keyframes. It's not animation graphed where you can go ahead and work it and simply slide the points around real conveniently. So the next thing to do then, and the best way to work with it, is to say, okay, let me come back into Talk Designer and I'm going to open up the supplemental text. Now, you write it or type it just the way the person's saying it. So we have extra ends in there. Let's add the extra ends. So we get, and how are we supposed to do that? Now what I'll do is go ahead and close this up, click apply again. And what this is doing is now creating a new animation layer. If I go ahead and open up the animation palette, we'll see that in the layer section, there's our second new layer because of the composite method is replaced. What we see this time when we render is going to overwrite or at least prevent what's underneath it from going ahead and playing. Let me pull this off to the side. Let's do a quick render and then see how it works this time around. I'll come up to my render settings, Command or Control Y as a keyboard shortcut. Under Movie Settings, I'm doing it at a half size so it renders faster. I'm choosing QuickTime, although you may have a Wave or AVI option if you're working with a PC. I'll go ahead and click Make Movie. I'm going to name this. First render, let's go ahead and name this one second render. And here we go. Okay, our rendering's done. Let's take a look at it and see if it's a little more acceptable this time. And how are we supposed to do that? So a little bit better. This is how you start working with it. Anytime you start working with dialogue and characters, you are going to be in for some time finessing. It's not a fast process and it's not particularly enjoyable. But that's how the business gets done. So you can modify it either with working with the supplemental text or you can work with the keyframes and move things around a little bit, whichever is most expeditious for you. And it goes back and forth depending on the nature of dialogue. Again, wonderful tool if you're working with one of the render techniques that doesn't, I should say, give away some of the impreciseness that the tool set has. But a nice way to go ahead and get some nice facial movement expressions when you've got dialogue with your characters inside of Poser Pro.